In this section, we are going to discuss about electric bell. Objective of this section is to understand about electric bell. We all are familiar with electric bell, right? In most of the school, we are using electric bell. When we are switching on, it is producing sound. By a simple press, we will get a long bell, right? Now we are going to discuss how this electric bell is working. We are going to discuss about the working of electric bell. Electric bell consists of an electromagnet. This electromagnet is the main part of an electric bell. Electromagnet is a temporary magnet which we can make with the help of electricity or with the help of a cell we can make an electromagnet. It is consists of an iron piece and this iron piece is bounded by the wires and this wire is connected to the battery. It is known as an electromagnet, right? It is an electromagnet. This battery is connected to electromagnet. The other end of battery is connected to a screw system. This screw is connected to iron strip. There is an iron strip, right? And this iron strip is connected to a connected to a hammer. There is a hammer also and there is a bell. When we are switching on this circuit, this iron piece is going to change into electromagnet. Electromagnet will attract the iron strip, right? Electromagnet means it's a magnet. It is going to attract iron pieces around it, right? Here there is an iron strip. It is going to attract this iron strip and it will move towards the electromagnet. Now what is happening here? Now there is a gap between this screw and this iron strip. Now this connection is incomplete. Now the circuit is incomplete. So this is not an electromagnet now. Because electromagnet means if there is an electric current then only it can act as an electromagnet. Now there is no electric current because of this breakage. Here there is no connection. Because of this movement of this iron strip the circuit is incomplete and this electromagnet will change back to the iron piece. Now it's not an electromagnet because of the spring action. It is going to move back. Now it is moving back because of the spring. Again it is changed into electromagnet. It will come back. Again because of the spring action it will go back. Again it will come back. This process will continue and it will give continuous bell. It is a working of an electric bell. It consists of a coil of wire wound on an iron piece. When the circuit is complete, coil acts as an electromagnet. There is an iron strip with hammer close to the electromagnet. This iron strip is connected to the circuit with the help of a screw. When the switch is on, the coil will act as an electromagnet. It will attract to the iron strip. Bell will ring. It is the working of an electric bell.